feel like making an exit? My hero. I still win, Koopa. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the pride. King King is mine. General Sal had his wedding right on schedule. Everything was as he'd arranged, except the bride came as kind of a shock. Carmelita was a little disappointed it wasn't me she busted at the altar, although I doubt she minded taking Sal into custody. He did, after all, plague the streets with the undead. From what I hear, the locals were happy to see him go. We dropped off Jean King with her aunt. The Panda King insisted that she be safe there and that he needed to pay off his debt to the gang. I was still wary, but there was no denying that his skills would come in handy. Needless to say, we lived it up in the back streets of Shanghai. What kind of gang of thieves would we be if we passed up on recreation like that? We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identity to none other than Blood Bath Bay. Easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lestow, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot, but his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper box. That Bentley, always thinking.
think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get them or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that. And they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr, I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure! I... But I will chatter with the likes of you, so blessed a subject. Get out of my sight, landlubber! For the years I only spoke of the golden kindness with me, partner. Can't handle the skill. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, old lubber, and cock it with me, cutlass. Hard on my tonsils, I assure you. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim, anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That's Stone Jake. Toughest guy you'll ever be. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head? Good plan. That'll do the job, lady. <laughs> Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor.
There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Stay sharp. <laughs> sharp as necks. Stop! Ah! Oh, I know it! Tis true! An agent of Thames come for revenge! <laughs> You don't take me. We'll be back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. 